Welcome back to the 888 Poker Weber Cup from the Barnsley Metrodome. Team Europe's Mika Koivinyemi hasn't done much wrong, but finds himself 32 pins behind in this singles match against Mike Fagan of Team USA. If Fagan doesn't strike, his maximum comes straight down from, two, uh, from 300 to 279. And that will only be an 11 pin difference. Fagan looking for a seven bagger. And uh, with the exception of his first two strikes, everything else has been as clean as you like. Away it goes. And that one was wide and stayed wide. And that's left him with a very nasty spare. Well, it was the 2 4 8 10. And I think the two has gone. This one just gets off the hand. Too quick, too wide. It's outside his mark and it's snagged up in any lane oil. It's made the head pin and look, the two pin's gone. There it goes. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> this is a makeable spare. He can hit that left pin very fine on the left hand side. It's the four pin. He can bounce it onto that eight pin which may well bounce across to the 10. If he gets this, it will look quite spectacular. No, he doesn't. And uh, it's all change once again. And yet another topsy-turvy fixture in Weber Cup 13. Takes another interesting twist. I did say that uh, Mika, not be, Mika Kovin, I mean, just had to stay in touch. And if he did, and there was an error from Fagan, which has just happened, Look at the score difference. Three pins in favour of the European lead man. Anything could happen from here. Well, it's an important ball for uh, Mika Koivinami. He needs to consolidate just the three pins, but it, more importantly, he's going to make three strikes in a row and throw big pressure back on Fagan, who's doing some, uh, shall we say, some, some gardening with his bowling ball and finger holes and thumb hole. This needs to be good. Well, it is. Great looking shot. Strings three strikes in a row and the pressure builds on Mike Fagan. Lays it down nicely on the lane, nice and straight. Gets to the back end where the dry part of the lane is. Comes up a little bit light, but gets the mix. And that's how important it is to Mika Koivinami. I think he meant that one. Yeah, it's a pretty mean stare he gave some of those pins just at the end, wasn't it? Doesn't suffer fools gladly, Mika. Very, very professional about his tournament play. Knows how to win, as we well know. Now, Fagan. I just wonder if he went looking for changes too early there because you said Cass when you saw that last shot it did just look like it came off his hand a little early and you know not a lot wrong with what he was doing but all of a sudden he's in, in some, some serious bother off six strikes yeah that last shot was uh, certainly a little bit wide it got back to the head pin couldn't make the 10 and he's missed that oh. one by a country mile come on now isn't that ludicrous the man's gone six strikes in a row he's had a little glitch Leaves a 10 pin, and this is just way inside. What's gone wrong here? Two inches it's missed it by, and one could say that this game could already be over. This man's hit st six strikes in a row, and he could be going home. This is unbelievable. I'm sure Mike Fagan feels exactly the same way, but a very random shot at that 10 pin spare, and a game that looked beyond Europe's reach just a few minutes ago now looks right back in their grasp and Koivin Yemi could level the score at Weber Cup 13 if he can hold it together Come on. Come on. if being the operative word no that's okay it wasn't the greatest shot of the world it's left a single pin up that could be a spare for him and uh, he will maintain his lead the unfortunate person is Mike Fagan, who's gone six strikes in a row, two open frames, and those two open frames cancel out four of those strikes to start with. So he is a man under pressure. He's gone from being oh, top of the tree to uh, 
Just wondering what on earth's going on at the moment. No takes problems. his spare and maintains his lead, slim as it may be. Little fist pump after that one from Coivin Amy. That just shows you the pressure that they're feeling up there on the show lane at the moment. And, uh, well, probably the worst place to be. Nobody wants to be watching someone else bowl. Whether you be a teammate or a relative, it's always quite tough. At least when you're up there on the stage, you can do something about it, which is exactly what Fagan needs to do here. Yeah, it's frame nine. Really does have to set something up for himself. And and he played the wide shot but got the reaction in the back end. It's come back nicely. It still gives him just a chance to hang in there. Both players will be sailing through the 200 barrier. Not that it's a barrier as such. Both looking for 240 plus games. This is where Mika Koivinami's experience will really count. He knows this one's a struggle. He knows it's tough out there. And he knows he's got to find a shot for Team Europe that works. <laughs> nearly, so nearly. Well, you, you couldn't write that, could you? I mean, to all intents and purposes, that looks a perfectly good strike shot. Right in the one three pocket, and the tempin stands there quite defiantly. His maximum drops to 236. If he can strike out in the 10th, but he's got to spare this one first. Oh, and he knows how much damage that has done to his score or his potential maximum score. He got a good carry on that one, just went all around the tempin. So another spare required. Please hang on. Oh dear. And Mika was down on one knee, hoping and praying. But in the end, it was uh, very good. Hard and straight. Took the temping away nicely. Not happy. No, I, I, I lip read that one. <laughs> He's not happy. But there you go. That's the situation. It's for Mike Fagan to take this one. Business end. Uh, Fagan can close it out. Again, it's, it's another really positive mental boost when you think you're out of the game and you're handed a lifeline. And uh, that one came back so sweetly into the pocket. That certainly could be the match winner. Mika's up for 236, but uh, that's if he strikes out. 244 for Mike Fagan. He's got the first one in the 10th. Needs to bury one more. Not kissing the ball, just blowing into uh, that thumb grip. Just part of his pre-shot routine. But he'll kiss it if he can find a strike with this one. That cut up on him, but it just held enough of its line to get through the deck. The situation is that uh, Mike Fagan needs three pins to shut out Mika Kovinami and to take the point for Team USA. I cannot see him not making three pins. This is a great looking shot. Second ball of the 10th, it rings three strikes in a row. And it's virtually sewn this game up. Fantastic looking reaction back in there. Well done, Mike Fagan. Yeah, we've already had one dramatic finish with Tommy Jones. <laughs> so Mika Kovinami once again misses out. And there were some chances. And Fagan's six strikes in a row at the top of this match. Good enough to build a score which Koivinami couldn't surpass. So another point for the USA. Confirmation then of that score. 242 plays 225. And once again, we've got a very close session. It's on as even at the moment. But USA go back out to a two-point lead. Tony Wright and then he's with Mike Fagan.
Mike, you are you happy about that, aren't you? Just uh, just mustering to yourself about how pleased you were. Yeah, you know, anytime you can beat Mika, uh, you know, he's one of the world's best. Uh, you got to pat yourself on the back and feel good about it. What was going on in your mind? You had six strikes in a row, looking sensational, and then a bad miss. Yeah, I mean, the lanes are a little bit touchy out there. Obviously, I was, you know, creeping a little bit left as the game went on, and I just kind of let one get away from me. Um, and the spare shot, the same thing. You know, the heartbeat's pumping a little bit and uh, just lost some concentration. How do you refocus after that? Is it hard to put that out of your mind or are you pretty good at just getting on with it? Yeah, I mean, I've learned over the years it's just got just to gotta let it go, leave it out there. And, uh, you know, I came back through some good shots down the stretch and got, got the point for us. How much are you going to enjoy the rest of the session now? I'm going to enjoy it a lot because I don't have to bowl anymore. I can just be a, be a cheerleader. <laughs> Superb. Enjoy cheerleading. Ladies and gentlemen, America's number one cheerleader is Mike Fagan, who's got another point for the Americans. And hasn't he done well? The Americans are ahead in Weber Cup 13, but only just. We'll see you next time.